This is Legion 5 from Lenovo. It's coming with Ryzen 7 processor and you can also get one with an Intel processor that costs a bit more. Like the one I have, it's coming with Ryzen 7 processor, GTX 1660 Ti GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD that is coming with NVMe and a 144 Hz 1080 pixel display. Now besides processor, you have different options of 1650 Ti GPU, 4K 60Hz display instead of 1080 pixels 144Hz. You can have much more RAM and storage options too. You know, most of the laptops that you see in the market is either business looking or gaming looking. But you cannot just place it either of the category. It has very simple design, very clean top side with two logo of Legion and Lenovo and lower part of the laptop has a vibe of gaming. It has two speaker at very front and the quality is decent. Not best, not bad, just average. It is super loud. I generally use it around 60 to 70% volume as it gets pretty loud when using it. So I generally use it at 60 to 70% volume, which I think will be uh, suitable options for most of the users. Talking about ports, it has single USB port at both left and right with a 3.5mm audio jack on the left. It also has three more USB on the back, one HDMI, one TRRS, 10 gigabit port and a USB-C. Now the USB-C here is just a regular one. It does not support Thunderbolt capabilities. And that is not a particularly problem for me as it has a lot more ports to work on with. But this one lacks a very particular thing that I needed most and that is the SD card slot. Even though this is jam-packed with features for creators, it does not have a SD card slot. This is shocking for me. I had to use a card reader or use my camera USB cable just to transfer my files from PC to camera. That ended up becomes very slow. So if I had a SD card slot, it would be much easier for me, especially while I am traveling. I did not have to much worry about cables to bring in with me. I just had to uh, bring my camera and the SD cards directly connected to the laptop. That is a very important and crucial things for creators. And I think Legion should um, make this available in their next generation of their Legion 6 or whatever that is calling. Now talking about build, it's completely built with polycarbonate with a soft touch material on top of it. It's kind of a silicon case on phone, but it's a bit hard, which makes it comfortable to hold. And it works as a good grip while typing. As I said at first, it's also a productivity machine. I felt comfortable while typing with the keys. They have enough space in between for comfortable use and the buttons are satisfying. Plus, I like the separate number pad for typing phone numbers or calculations. Even the trackpad here is large and comfortable here to use. I could use it very well while uh, using uh, web browsers or typing. That is very comfortable for that. But if you want to uh, play games, then you definitely use, have to use a USB mouse. The webcam here is just a regular camera. Decent quality, but not the best. Pretty decent as a laptop, I would say. But I really like the fact that they have used a privacy filter with a physical button to physically block the webcam while not using it. And I think that is a very good step as the privacy is now a very good concern for most of the people nowadays. So having a physical button to block the camera is just, I would say, legendary. If you look down, you will see a physical button that generally uses for power options. But you will see this year they have implemented a LED on top of it. And if you look closely right onto it, you will see that there is a indicator how you can use it. You can use it as a function plus Q button to switch in different modes like auto performance and uh, uh, general mode. So that is a very good concept that you can physically see that which mode your laptop is running it. So I have to tell you one thing that when you have to use the performance mode, you have to plug in the charger. If you do not plug in the charger, you cannot just run it in the super efficient mode that might be using for gaming or video editing. 
And using it for a month, I could understand that this does not have a very good battery. That's why they decided to implement it. As you know that this is coming with a GDX 1660 Ti, which is a very powerful CPU. So you need a lot of power to run it. And if you want to run it in the full speed, you need a lot more juice for it. So they have decided to put the performance mode just for the uh, plug and play. But if you want to run on battery, you can use it just for social media browsing or just for taking some notes. Otherwise, I would say the battery is not a very good, but you can make it up to two or three hours for regular users. But if you want to game, I do not think this is gonna last very long. It might end up after one and a half hours or most of the time you cannot pass two, uh, two hours of benchmark. So, that is a concern maybe for you as you cannot run it on battery more than two hours if you heavily work on this. I know this display supports 144 Hz refresh rate plus 1080 pixel resolution. So you have to push a lot more pixels. So you cannot just save batteries using this giant 144 Hz display with a battery. So this display is also coming with sRGB 97%, Adobe RGB 69% and 300 nits of brightness. I would say the brightness could be a bit better, but this is usable. You can uh, use it anytime in the indoor conditions. If you go with it outside, then maybe you have some issues. That is um, actually an issue with most of the laptops. But I really like the fact that you can choose either a 1080 pixel or 4K resolution display from uh, various refresh rate of 144Hz or 60Hz according to your preferences. So if you are a content creator, maybe you will go with a 4K resolution display. And if you are a gamer, then maybe you will choose a 144, 144Hz refresh rate display with 1080 pixel uh, panel. So that is your choice, which one do you need? I think they have uh, enough options for it. Plus, you have an option for another NVMe and RAM storage. So you can choose either up to one terabyte of storage and 64 gigabytes of RAM according to your need. So if you are a video editor, maybe you need a 64 gigabytes of RAM. But if you are a gamer, you might end up with this eight gigabytes of RAM that is still enough for most of the games that you can play on the internet or anywhere. But if we talk about the fan noise, I would say the fan noise here is not extreme, but loud. I definitely say the fan noise is loud, especially when you are using it on the performance mode and uh, plugged in and you are rendering uh, videos or playing games at 60 FPS or higher settings, then definitely you will say that the fan noise is loud, but it's not extreme according to the price range it's coming with. So I would say the fan noise is reliable. I played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 at 60 to 65 frames per second, almost at um, higher settings as you can see in the screens. So I'm really happy with the RDR2 performance with 60 to 65 frames per second on this device. So I would say this can game up very well in this tiny little laptop, which you can also definitely use for office purposes. Though I'm not much into gaming, I'm just a YouTuber, so I use it mostly for video editing and content creation. I played some games rather than Red Dead Redemption. I played GTA 5 and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So you can see in the screen how this uh, performed in these tests. Even all the other laptops that is coming in this similar price range from HP to Acer or Asus, they almost all, all of them have almost a GTX 1660 Ti or similar kind of GPU, but somehow this Legion 5 could perform slightly better. Uh, I don't know why this is happening on this Legion 5, I could, but I could definitely say that Legion 5 is performing better than those laptops. I don't know, maybe that the thermal design might be a bit better or the maybe the CPU with the AMD Radeon graphics, maybe that is pushing a little bit. But I don't know what is happening with this one. This one is performing a bit better in gaming. So I'm telling you again, though I'm not much into gaming, but I could notice it that this Legion 5 is doing a slightly better job than those uh, laptops at least those laptops are available in my regions maybe in your regions there might be a different 
kind sets of laptop that is available in this price range but in my region uh, according to those asus or asus and hp laptops this one did really perform better even with the same gpu even if you look at other benchmarking scores you will say this laptop is performing as good as its competitors around this price range so i would say this is just uh, another piece of uh, invention that is coming with this same price range with other asus hp and asus laptops now this is time for some real life tests. As I have said, I am a content creator, so I need to use a, a lot of more video editing stuffs. So I decided to use Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 and use a 4K timeline to render a video. Normally my videos coming with uh, two, uh, three to four layers of 4K videos uh, stacking one top of another. And sometimes I have 8K videos from different smartphones and 108 megapixel videos. So recently I reviewed Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Maybe you can check it in the description box or in the uh, i button, you will find it there. But I have rendered that 16 minutes of 4K uh, video clip with 8K and 108 megapixel camera footages. I could render it within 14 to 15 minutes. So this is impressive this is very impressive that you can render a 16 minutes of 4k video with three of four layers of 4k images with 8k and uh 108 megapixel photos and rendering it at just 14 minutes this is literally impressive so the final verdict should you buy this laptop well i have to say two things if you want to go for exclusively for video editing you just do video editing then i would say maybe macbook air or macbook pro would be a better choice for you but if you want both words from this you, you want to video edit on this you want to game on this then i would say you have to use this laptop so that you can game and video edit at the same time on a single machine uh, so this is my saying please let me know in the comment section what do you think about this laptop and if you like the review in this video please do consider subscribe and like this video so for today tata bye bye dekha hobe pore kono video te